Hi everyone, welcome to a new Isle 2 Great Battles. Here we are with the Horga Hurricane in the 651st. We're here with Trofim Tafinski. And we've got a mission, another mission, which is another Grand Troop cover. A couple of days since a past since we last flew. There's been a couple of recon flights going up, a couple of enemy incursions into our um, territory, but um, we were not picked on the roster to go up. But today we have been selected to do some Grand Troops cover. It's the 2nd of September 1942. Takeoff time will be 15.45. The weather will be clear. Calm with no turbulence is the wind. Target approach altitude will be 6,600 feet. And the atmospheric conditions you can see there. Primary objective. Your mission is to provide air cover for our ground forces near the front lines. Our supply trucks are hauling fuel and ammunition to the forward units in this area and are extremely vulnerable. Ground spotters will warn you of enemy aircraft and vector you to intercept their approach. You may RTB only after following the spotter's instructions. Right. Okay, we've had a couple of these and uh, that seems to be the way we're going. So, um, they keep putting the um, the cannon, 20mm cannons back on the, uh, the Hurricane. Um... We'll go back to our Brownings. So it gives us the maximum um, spray and pray effect, <laughs> which we like. Uh, right, we're going to try and encourage to fire a little bit further out now. So I'm going to try and... I've realised that I'm, I'm letting, trying to get far too close to fire. Well, not too close, but um, I'm kind of letting my World War One influence um, get the better of me. So we're going to try and... Um, Keep it at a bit more of a distance, a bit more further shots as well. So we're going to go 150 meters and see how we work with that. Um, let's wheel around and uh, get up in the air. Okay, here we are. Put a bit of flat. One in front of me, God, yeah, okay. Here we go. Right, we're up. Uh, we don't even got too far to fly. We're going to wait for these um, callouts from the, uh, the observation crew to vector us to where the intercept points will be for these approaching enemy aircraft. Uh, so we'll climb up, head towards the uh, the initial point, and uh, I'll bring you back then. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, the flight is just breaking up a little bit. There are some uh, allied fighters over there. Flight Storm, we are Flight Stork. I think we're just doing a turn, that's why the uh, formation seems to have gone a bit awry. Raven 2, engaging fighter. High range 2 comms. So maybe they're raging, maybe Storm is the uh, base then. Storm, 
the I'll stay with the flight. Oh, I see them. Oh, sorry. God, I was blind. Alright, let's stay high. Trying to see what they are. It's probably a sure bet they're going to be 109s, but um, are there any bombers in there? Don't they all look. No, I don't think so. If they are. They're probably just uh, fighters with bombs strapped under their wings. What have we got there? Right, I'm not going to let that aircraft slip through. Ah, one of our buddies has got onto his tail, which is good. Got him steaming. So actively, it's got a ray gunner. Oh, she's Stuka. Stukas, perhaps. Or maybe just a single Stuka. That attack's probably made him drop his bomb, which is good. He's, he's had it. We'll give him a, we'll give him a burst, but he's, he's, I don't think he's going to get out of that. Maybe we should finish him off. One thing we didn't, we regretted last time was not finishing kills off, wasn't it? It was, um. Okay, we'll, we'll go high because of the Allied plane attacking there. I think they're going to finish that one off, so um, let's ignore that. Let's get stuck in over here. I don't think she's making it home anyway, so... Right, rolling in on the target now. We've got streaming aircraft, which is which. Difficult to see with the sun in our face. I think that's the 109 at the rear, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Flames going down there. Someone is in trouble.
Always worried that someone's coming on my tail. Where is he? I don't have a fly going up there. I'm gonna head that way. Where did my guy go? Oh, we've got more aircraft down here. Parachutes. Right, let's stay high and go and check out these three aircraft. Let's see what they're doing. Right, that, that's the 109 there. Okay, it's not cut in front of him. <laughs> Come on, nice man, take the shot. Blackout. Right, we're breathing hard as we're pulling the G's. Stall in. Trying to get a bit more distance shooting. Not easy. Trying to get. Oh. Trying to angle it to get hits on the cockpit because we know that's going to be the easiest way to uh, finish her off. Something just fell off. Wingtip. Hi everyone, right, friendly aircraft, we are climbing up to that, whatever that is, another bomber, I think it might be another Stuka coming on our own, we're desperately trying to climb to uh, intercept, no fighter escort seen as yet, you can see the little puffs of anti-aircraft fire coming up. Struggling to uh, climb. Keep an eye out for any fighters there. Yeah, it's a Stuka. Yep, they get him.
bringing them down to our level. Oh. I was going to try and keep the momentum going, but um, oh, they're still alive. Okay. Oh my god! I literally couldn't get the nose up. They were not going in? Oh my god. How on earth did they pull out of that? I know the, uh, the Stuka has a automated um, dive recovery system. Crikey. I'm keen not to let this one get home. We, I don't think we've been credited with a kill yet. So, um... We won't slow down and um, sit for his uh, rear gun, I will and we'll do some passes on him. Oh, he's in. Right then, we'll climb up, see if there's anything else around, and if not, we'll head back to base. Hi everyone, right, you can see the landing lights, we're back at base. Anyone on final? Yep, okay, so we're gonna follow this orbit around, do the down leg approach, and then we're gonna turn and we're gonna come in. We proved that we can land, you know, multiple aircraft at the same time last time out, so why not do it again? Saves us having to faff round up here, doesn't it? Alright, scrubbing some speed off now. Yeah, a couple of questions why, why why that alarm comes on. So that alarm is um, a throttle response alarm. So if the throttle gets closed or down to a minimum setting, then it comes on just to let you know that, you know, the throttle's down just in case it gets knocked, I suppose. And the 
tiny bit of flapping. So we're climbing a little bit. So we're bringing the speed down now. We'll add a little bit more flap. Get down. And there we go, the alarm cuts off. Got an aircraft coming into final here. No, sorry, she's circling out wide. The lights make them look closer than they are. bump there. Oh, not, not our finest landing, but we're down. And there we have, mission result, mission accomplished, complete secondary objectives, cover landing and takeoff, all successfully completed after 37 minutes and 35 seconds. We were credited with one kill in the end. Okay, I wonder if, I'm guessing that might have been that, hang on, we, we got the 109 smoking, we then took the wingtip off of 109, and we put some bullets into the Stukas, although we may not have done enough damage to the Stukas to be... Well, we definitely didn't get credit for that because that would have been a medium kill. So, it's definitely one of the 109s. So, is it the wingtip one or is it the one we got streaming? I didn't know what to that one after we got it streaming. It probably went low and I just lost it in the uh, in the landscape. And maybe it was finished off by another one or, or crash later. We'll, we'll find out. You'll probably know from the replays. But So, at least we pocket another 1,000 rubles for the uh, the fighter kill. Uh, and we're not alone, it would seem. Oh no. Borisov was killed. I wonder if his, it was his aircraft going down in flames we saw. Uh, we managed to secure a victory. So did Flight Leave. F flight Lead, even. Shazov, Shazonov. And also Potapov. Potapov or Potapov? Who knows? Um sadly had uh, a misfortune, lost his aircraft, but was able to survive and bail out, which is good news. So three aircraft kills for the squad, not bad. One loss of life and two lost aircraft. So that's quite costly, actually. Right, looking into the squadron room, that takes the squadron. So we've got fit and healthy pilots, which is good. 57 aircraft kills, 49 vehicle, 17 railroad, 53 heavy weapons, 32 building and 8 marine. There we are. 13 kills. Top of the aircraft kills tally. We don't have anything else in our in our uh, logbook, sadly. You've got eight fit hurricanes, uh, hurricanes airworthy. Since we, we, we seem to rock it up to about 10 kills, didn't we? And then the last three kills have been a real slog fest. I think ever since we started looking at this and eyeing up getting on the board, we're still two away. The one closer. It's been really difficult to uh, to get um, 
confirmed kills. Obviously, well, shooting hasn't helped. <laughs> it's one of the biggest contributors, of course. Um, there you go. There's a look at all the tin that we've got on our chest and the money we've earned through uh, bomber kills and fighter kills. And obviously, five combat sorties, we also got another reward. 13 aircraft to our name, 10 light aircraft, 3 medium. Fantastic. So, Trofim. Tafinski, his career is blossoming. It's, we're going through. It's like it's like a, a striker in football or soccer. Um, you go through purple patches where everything comes off. Then you go through a little bit of slump of form, uh, and you just need to keep at it, keep working hard, and uh, you'll get real rewards in the end. We're just going through that little trough in our form at the moment, uh, and I'm sure we'll get back on uh, top billing very soon. Um, so from here. From the 651, we'll leave you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're continuing to enjoy Trofim's career. If you are, hit that big thumbs up and, of course, share on social media. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe, tickle the bell so you don't miss the next video release. So I'll say thank you very much, take care, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.